Football, something which has always been referred to as the beautiful game. No amateur dramatics, no players earning hundreds of thousands of pounds a week, just players playing for the love of the game. Technology is taking over the game and only the people who can afford to go and see it can go. So what's the alternative for people who refuse to pay these prices to fill all of these prima donna's pockets? The wonders of non-league football. Plumbers, builders, carpenters, you name it, they are put out onto these boggy pitches with attendances just making it into the hundreds, being paid £20 a week, but you can guarantee that heart and passion will be something to put Premier League football to shame. So I want to see why people choose to go and watch these people, rather than the glitz and the glamour of the Premier League. I'm sure to find some very interesting characters everywhere that I go. Conditions are sometimes appalling, even for the press, which is why you may see water covered on the camera lens not something that you would see on Sky or Match of the Day. People certainly have differing opinions about non-league football. You either love it or you hate it. And that's certainly the impression that I got back from some of the people that I spoke to. You know, it's, it's not just pub football, you know, it's proper semi-professional to professional football. And I mean, I've got a few mates who are Chelsea fans who came down for a Sutton Chelsea pre-season friendly and, and now they're season ticket holders. So yeah, you, you do get a lot of grief for it, but it's, it's nice to show people what it's all about. See, I can't see why people would want to come and see this. I mean, where's where's the talent? Just like playing in a park. And then it's really fast attacking football, so it's really entertaining. You're guaranteed seeing loads of goals. I didn't come here tonight. Two minutes into the game, for it to be stopped, for corner flags to be put in. I mean, what the bloody hell's that all about? I mean, I play Saturday League football, and that would never ever happen. The corner flags are in at the start of the game. This standard's meant to be a lot better than what I play at, and the ref had to pause it to put the corner flags in. That does sum up amateur football, come on. So why do people actually support these sides, and what possesses them to spend hard-earned money travelling to go and support them every week? So um, I started in 1997, um, so my dad, I came along with my dad in 1997. He's been going since the 60s, granddad going since the 40s, so it's sort of like a family. Um, well, my first game was in October 2005. I started going regularly in 2011, and since then it's been an addiction, really. Haven't stopped since then. Yeah, I've been uh, supporting Winchester City since 1948, when I was six. Um, and when we won the FA Vars in 2004, we actually, in one hour, sold £72 worth of goods. And uh, one day, if you have kids, will they have any other option to buy a son? <laughs> Absolutely no chance. Son all the way, yeah. Something which certainly endears the public to non-league football is the personal aspect of it. Some of these clubs have run no different to a Sunday league side and there are no superstars making their presence felt, rejecting photos or autographs for the fans. Far more personal, you know the players, they're playing as much for the love of playing the game as they are for the money. And, uh, they're, they're almost a part of the club. At Sutton, I mean, I know most of the players. I, I work on the car park and I speak to them every game, so they're not kind of like unattainable heroes, if you like. There's a lot of friendship between the supporters and you can actually speak to the players after the match. And celebrating with the players, with the staff afterwards, go show what a community this club really is. Every professional footballer started at the bottom. They may not have stayed there, but the likes of Jamie Vardy, Mikhail Antonio and Ian Wright all players who have plied their trade in the Premier League all owe a lot to non-league football. You put a problem with a purest form of football. I think it needs supporting, but it's it's what you do on Saturday afternoons. You know, you've got I think you've got to support it, but it's a good good afternoon's entertainment. I think. One positive I have taken out from tonight is the connection between this and grassroots level. Starting from a young age, I can tell that most of these players, you know, they've started from they were five or six, working their way up to this level. But as for these making it to the big time and taking that next step up to League 2, League 1, I don't know how they're going to make it. As a fan, a lot of people go to matches for different reasons, but sometimes something completely unpredictable can happen, either for the wrong or right reasons. It certainly is not just a game in non-league. It means an incredible amount. There's a lad here uh, that was uh, dying the wall, Eastleigh supporter, and Malcolm Clark does 
reports from them. He, he uh, watched them for years and years and years. He used to go to every game home and away. And we got drawn away to Barrow in the FA Cup. And uh, Malcolm managed to miss the coach, so missed the game. I think he's seen 600 games consecutively and then missed the biggest game in the club's history. We had a 2 0 defeat at Whitehawk. We uh, had quite a lot to drink. Uh, and then we were relying on my phone to, to give us directions back to the station, but then run out of mobile data. So we had to find our way back. It was about an hour walk if we knew the way. We were just kind of knew the general direction of where it was. It took us maybe three hours to find the station, asking people directions every two minutes. And again, we, we didn't get back till, well, probably, well, about 11, 12, about midnight. But you, again, you know, it's, it was a laugh, even though we lost. And um, well, I'd be prepared to go to the other side of the world to sign if it came to it, really. Modern football is a much talked about subject. A lot of people refer to top flight football as a business nowadays, and so many people are being priced out. But it's not all bad. Sometimes, shockingly, Premier League football can be cheaper than non-league football. Very surprising, I know. What I like about non-league football is it's not so expensive as Premier or Football League. It works out sort of, I think about seven or eight quid a game. So every sort of fortnight of, yeah, good value for money. Recently in the press, a lot's been said about some of the Prem games charging too much, like the prices are extortionate. Well, my club West Ham, kids per quid. Kids pay three quid to get in here tonight. So does that work out? I mean, six pound entry to come and watch this. The Wonder Bears about 20 people watching the game. Just got fed up with the high profile football. Um, and you're watching guys here, they, they do all the jobs during the week and they give 100% out there. And some yeah, of so the pitches aren't the best. So do you enjoy watching this rather than obviously Premier League football? Too, right? Every football fan goes through highs and lows, but no matter how low it gets, and it can get very low, some non-league football fans will never jump ship. But it also seems that if you're already hooked to the Premier League, non-league football can be quite a disturbing prospect. Uh, last week I went Bob Norigis away on the Tuesday night cup replay. That went to extra time. We lost to an own goal in extra time. Didn't get back till about one in the morning, but you know, no regrets. It's, Trips like that will stay in your memory for the wrong reasons that time, but you get loads that will stay in your memory for the right reasons as well. Would I come back? Probably not, no. I think I'll stick my West Ham season ticket. Yes, as I said before, passion, desire was there to be seen, but in terms of the quality, you can't beat it watching West Ham. This is just uncomparison. Non-league football can certainly divide opinion, but for the faithful fans, it's certainly a way of life. The ordinary people playing, the over-enthusiastic fans and the family-orientated atmosphere makes it an entity which should really be treasured and something which is certainly undervalued because of the Premier League. The passion for these clubs still exists and people are still being brought up from a young age knowing no different. Long live non-league football. Penalty, 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 penalty